Hey guys, it is our last day of um, learning about some truths from God's Word this week. So far we've talked about promises, we've talked about how God's Word is true, yesterday we talked about how God loves us, today we're going to be talking about how I can trust God, okay? So you need the page that says, I can trust God. And remember, if you can't write these things out, you can just talk to them with your mom and dad. You don't have to be able to write all these things down, okay? All right, so... Talk about this or write this down on your paper. What does it mean to trust someone? When you trust someone, what does that mean to you? All right, that's the very first box on your paper. So you can write some thoughts down or you can tell your mom and dad. And then let's talk about who are some people that you can always trust. So I want you to make a list in your head, write it on your paper, tell your mom or dad of people that you can always trust. All right, now let's go look at some scripture um, and see what God says about trust. Okay, so we're right here in the middle. Why does the word say that we can trust God? So get, let's go into the Old Testament. Let's look in the book of Psalm, chapter 33, verse 4. It says, For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all that he does. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. So what does the word say that we can trust God? It says that he's faithful and true, right? That he's faithful in all he does and his words are right and true so we can trust him. All right. Let's read Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. That is in the Old Testament. It's kind of at the beginning of, um, of the books of the Bible. It says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. All right, let me read that again. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Okay, so let's talk about... What is a covenant? Do you know what a covenant is? A covenant is, is like an agreement between two people, okay? Kind of like promises that we talked about earlier. Now, has God ever broken his promises? No, he tells us he's a faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. So his covenant is with us. If we love him and we keep his commandments, He's going to keep his end of the covenant, his, he, his covenant of love with us, okay? That's what that means. Okay, so at the very, very bottom, I want you, there's a little um, graph right here. I want, at each one of these spots, I want you to write something of a way that you can trust God to do whatever, okay? What are some things that you can trust God to do? Because there is an endless, endless list of things that we can trust him to do. I hope that the couple of scripture that we read today reminded you how you can trust God and all of the other scriptures that we've read so far this week have reminded you that God loves you and he's giving you, he has so many promises and covenants with you. It's amazing. All right, we're going to, um, we've got a few more days of this study next week and then we'll go into something else. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you later.